isn't about AdSense, and I suppose this is uh, a bit about the drought relating to the advertiser issues in the Philippines. Uh, well, I keep saying Philippines. Uh, relating to the pullout of advertisers on YouTube. First thing I want to say is there's affiliate marketing. There's um, a lot of stuff that you know you can sell other products, um, but also there's things like the network. I mean, I've done quite well out of the network that I've established over the years. Um, for example, working with Mark Ledbetter a while back relating to a Spanish, uh, Spanish teaching school here in Spain. Um, it's through these mediums that I actually know Mark. Um, there is the fact of things like here in Spain, the real estate stuff is starting to develop. Because um, I've had a, a few people ask me about properties now and I did a few videos last week going around different locations so people can see what sort of uh, price things are, sizes, etc. And I know there's a market for doing that sort of stuff. There's a lot of external services that you could do through your YouTube channel. And I know there's certain people in certain locations that could offer some expat services, you know, just on the Philippines alone um as a local guide you know if you wanted to the reality is it's not just about churning videos and sitting back you may find there's other ways to make better money using your channel as your medium but you could do website development you could do um whatever your skills you have maybe you've got a four by four in the philippines and want to rent it out every month or you've got apartments or whatever there's always something else there that may actually pay more than you'll get off the YouTube channel. Um, I mean, I've got to admit, my apartments are fully booked. The, I've got... Well, this month, we had somebody move out, and we were painting another unit, but both of those units are now full, and I've got somebody else waiting to move into one as soon as it becomes available. That's the reality. You know, once people are aware that you have that service, and provide a good service, etc., they'll just keep coming back. And that, that, that's one of the things. So if you're only focusing on just doing the AdSense and going, oh, it's not making enough money, you're probably not doing enough on your channel. Try to think out of the box a bit if, you, if you're doing it for an income. Um, the other thing is, are you, is there stuff you could be doing to your channel to improve it? Are you doing better thumbnails? Are you doing stuff that actually affects the channel? Because I know a lot of, um, the people that go on the creation side, they, they do boost a lot of things that may not actually make that much difference these days. Um, but things like thumbnails is very visual. Things like um, doing an intro and outro may not be that important, but maybe putting your details on there, like an email address, could be more of value because people will know how to contact you. I'd say just analyze your channel and have a think about what you want to do with it. Um, the other thing is, is to expand into other niches. Um, I don't have one channel, I've got 12. Um, something a lot of people aren't aware of, but the fact is, I have different niches. And they do make a reasonable amount of money between them. Uh, but at the same time, a lot of this is experimental. I'm, not, I'm just seeing where it goes. Uh, Philippines channel does okay. Spanish channel doesn't really make that much money at all. Um, I'm not sure why, in all honesty. Uh, but then again, the networking side of it is probably more valuable for the Spanish side than it is for the Philippines. Um, but there's other niches which make money without having to do a lot because there's simple tutorials and things like that. Um, it's why YouTube, for example, is very big on the gaming because gaming is probably the biggest um, AdSense sensation, should we say. Uh, yeah. Think out of the box. Thanks for watching.